Yo, hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Dividend Invest, and back today with another video. Oh, so in today's video, I'll be going over my dividend income payments for not just May, but April as well. So this is usually my favourite video to do, usually once every month. Obviously, I usually only do one month at a time, but I think in April I received about two or three dividend payments, so I didn't really think it warranted a video for, um, just for those three payments, so I thought I'd just combine May and April together. So I love talking about my dividend payments. It really is my favourite video to do, just to look at your passive income that you receive, and then obviously it gets reinvested straight back into those stocks now that Free Trade have, re have released um, fractional shares investing. So that means you can buy portions of shares with um, only bits of money, so you don't have to buy a whole share. So anyway, just before we get to the contest, guys, if you're new to the channel, could you please consider subscribing if you haven't already? Give the video a like, thumbs up, uh, get in the comments as well. Let me know what you think of the video. Obviously, now my new, I'm, uh, I want to reach a new goal of 1,500 subscribers. So if you could please help me get there, I'd be much appreciated. So yeah, so what we'll do is now we'll just take a, a quick um, swipe into my activity feed on the free trade app. So we'll go into activity and scroll all the way down to the start of April. So my first dividend I received was for £1.95, which is off Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola been doing quite well recently but was 1.68 percent with coca-cola and i did buy i recently did buy um, 10 pounds worth of a share that was on the 22nd of may that was just me testing out the fractional shares portion so yeah just stuck 10 pounds into coke so that was on the first of april nice way to start off that month but not much weighing dividends in that month guys so the next time i received a dividend was on the 6th of april which was for 37 pence of walmart let's take a quick look into walmart now so you can see Walmart, I'm up just over 8% in them. So I've not really bought any shares in Walmart for a while, but there's one I probably will be looking to in the near future and try and increase that dividend payment, even if it is only fra fractional shares I can buy. So then I had to wait a while for my next dividend, well, only a couple of days, which is on the 8th of April, which I received 23 pence off the S&P Vanguard Index Fund. I just have a quick look at them as well. I can see that the S&P 500 is back up. And I'm up 8.8, 8, 8, let me say that again, 8.26%, which does reflect how much it is up overall as well over the last um, year or so. You can see the V graph is back up. So yeah, I'm up 8.26%. I think I, I bought when it was £42, now it's 46 so it's not too bad. And I think, yeah, that was the only dividends I received in April, so... I think two pound, two pounds overall in dividends, which obviously isn't great, guys. So obviously that's why I didn't, it didn't warrant a video. But now May is a look, a lot better month for dividend payments. So let's kick it off on the first of May. I got a three pound thirty six dividend from Verizon. We'll take a look at Verizon now. I'm up. Well, I'm not sorry. I'm down with Verizon two point three six percent. As you can see there, the amount of shares I own, I did to buy in a fractional share, reinvested with the dividend that I received from Verizon. You see, I'm down eight pounds or two pounds or 2.36 percent. I have an average cost of 45 pounds and 81 pence. I think that works out. That obviously, it shows the fractional share price as well. And on the same day, the first of May, I received a dividend from AT&T for four pound 26 pence. Again, that got reinvested straight back into the portfolio. AT&T, I have not 12.175 shares. But we're three hundred pounds invested in that in them now, so I'm down just 045 percent. Again, I've said before it was one of my best performing stocks before all this started, but it does look like they're going to get to like a W or V sort of graph. We'll have to see how it goes. So, so yeah, I now my average cost is now twenty four pounds and ninety point eight two pence. That's AT and T. So back into activity tab, and to wait. A couple of I remember the next dividend I'll scroll up so yeah the next dividend I received was on the 7th of May which was 62 pence from Oriental Income oh, another quite good dividend yielding stock Oriental Income let's try and find them all portfolio there we go I'm down 15.13% with Oriental Income 33 shares currently owned good news is they are back up in the last month on 4.5% and my average cost is two pounds forty three pence. If you want to just round it up, 
and then the next dividend payment I received was um, a week well a week later which was um, for BA Tobacco for £1.05 on the 14th so BA Tobacco was a cigarette company I'm up 8.82% in them two shares owned and my average cost is £29.76 which is currently below the current value which is always obviously a good sign you always want to be under or around your value of the stock as it currently is so the next dividend which was a day later was for Colgate for one pounds and fifty three pence. So Colgate, um, I'm up just point five one percent with them at the moment. Two hundred ninety four pounds currently invested. Five point oh five six shares of them. Some uh, fifty-seven pounds ninety-two pence is my average cost at the moment, which is obviously slightly below. And obviously, it shows in dollars. That's one thing I think Free Trade could improve on is showing how much cost it is in uh, the uh, UK currency in pounds as well, as well as the dollar sign. It's just easier to work out sometimes. So my next dividend was on the same day, fifteenth of May, which is a nice little dividend from Abvi for four pounds and ninety-four pence. Again, that got reinvested straight back into the company of Abvi. Abvi, my highest position. I have over four hundred pounds invested in them, and I own six point oh six six four shares, and I'm currently up twenty-five percent. You can see my average cost with Abvi is fifty-seven pounds and eighty-two pence. So Abvi, another great dividend yielding stock. I think they pay around just under a pound per share. Obviously, I've I've done um, an dividend stock analysis of Abbey as well if you want to check that out on my channel so then my next dividend I received was on the 22nd of May which was for £1.12 which is from Starbucks Starbucks as well one of my higher positions my fifth highest I think 56 four shares I own currently I mean, so I couldn't reinvest the £1.12 into um, Starbucks yet as free trade of a two pound limit order I think so if we just go into it now yep so one pound and twelve pence that is correct free trade do only allow you to have a um, invest two pounds of fractional shares at one time which isn't good but, but hopefully they change that in the future as it still is in beta testing at the moment And then my final dividend payment, which was the lowest I think I've received for a dividend, was three pence for Greencoat UK. But that is understandable as I only own two shares and is a relatively cheap stock. So we'll go down to Greencoat. Yeah, just two just two shares owned, but I'm up the three percent with them. So yeah, I think my dividend my dividend income comes to around twenty one pounds for April and May. Obviously, they're only about two pounds in April and seventeen eighteen pounds in um. <clears throat> In May, so obviously again, guys, the dividend dividend investing. I think so. If it, next time I receive dividends from the companies I've invested back the dividend back into, I will receive a slightly higher dividend than I did before. Obviously, it won't be by much, maybe three pence, four pence. Obviously, if I've invested fractional shares. Well, the main thing is, guys, I couldn't do this before. You have to buy. You, have, you used to have to buy whole shares. Obviously, get the whole dividend again, but that always isn't, isn't affordable at the moment. So the fact that I can reinvest the dividend into the companies and increase the dividend for the next time, it really does, um, really is good. So I think these are the good, real best dividend stocks to invest in right now. Good, good, really good dividend paying stocks like Abbey, Verizon, AT and T, Colgate. All companies have received dividends off recently, with really good, reliable dividend yields. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for my uh, video today. Just let me know what you think of my dividend uh, income for this month. Let me know if you own any of the same stocks if and how many shares you have of the current stocks, so if you have more or less and how they're doing for you as well guys. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you if you like it. Give it a comment as well. Anyway guys, I'm gonna leave you to uh, two of that today. All the best. Bye.